good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey my friends, we have another letter. Look at this week's letter. Do you know what that letter is? Is it in your name? Have you seen it around your house? Have you seen it on a cereal box? Have you seen it on any of the boxes in your pantry? Or any cans? Look around and see if you can find some this week. You're gonna have to be finding an uppercase D and a lowercase D everywhere you look. They could be on street signs when you and your mom are walking. It could be in books that you're reading. I bet you can find an uppercase D and a lowercase D in books that you're reading with your parents. Or your, or your older siblings, or your grandma and grandpa. D. Let's do the, little, the letter keyword sound together. Letter keyword sound, let's do it. D dog d. D dog d, say it. D dog d, d, d. The sound that the letter D makes is d. The first sound in dog is d, d. We learned a new letter. Let's dive a little deeper. We have an uppercase D and a lowercase D and an uppercase D and a lowercase D. Do they look different or do they look the same? The W's look the same, but these aren't W's. This is a different letter. This is an uppercase D and a lowercase D. Hmm. Do you think they look different? I think they do too. The uppercase D and the lowercase D, they face each other, like they're talking. The D's like to talk together. If I, if, it, if I wrote on these and I made little boots for the mommy and the daddy, sorry, the daddy or the little boy, the little, the little brother or little sister maybe, this daddy and this child they're facing each other. You see them facing each other? That means they're talking. That's a great way to remember that these are letter D's. The D's like to talk together and the B's like to walk together. When I write a B, they're facing the same way. So when I add their little boots, you can see that they're walking together. The D's are facing each other. They're talking together. The bees like to walk together, and the D's like to talk together. The bees like to walk together, and the D's like to talk together. We don't need these. We've already done this letter, haven't we? Well, that's a good reminder of what bees look like. Uppercase bees and lowercase bees. Let's go over our objective today. Students have rights, right? They have lots of rights in my classroom. You have the right to ask questions to be treated with kindness, to share your ideas, and to have others listen to you and respect you. Rights, rights are something you are given or allowed to do. We have a lot of those in our class. I think it's important for you to have rights. You have every right to learn. Let's read our objective together. We will know our letters of the week by saying them, by finding them, and tracing them or writing them all by ourselves. And we're tracing them and writing them correctly the letters of our week as we develop our fine motor skills. You guys are gonna be excellent readers and writers after we get through all the letters in our alphabet. We're already halfway through, just a little bit more, and you'll know all the letters in our alphabet. That'd be very exciting. Aren't you excited? Me too. Let's think about some things that start with the letter D. Can you think of some things that start with the letter D? Let's make our list first, and then I want you to find two things in your house that start with the letter D. So let's make our list first. Well, we know that dog starts with a D. Our keyword helps us. Our letter, our keyword, that's our picture, and the sound the letter makes, D, 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 dog, D. So we know D, the, the first letter in the word D, dog, you have to have D first in that word. Did you know that? A dog. Do you have a dog at home? 
I don't have a dog. I used to. Maybe you have a dog or another pet. Dog. D -d dog. Or donut. Strawberry donuts are my favorite. <laughs> it's pink. Can you say donut? D -d donut. Do you hear that D sound in the beginning of that word? How about diamond? It's a very sparkling diamond. What's the first sound in diamond? D, D, diamond. You got it. Dig. I bet you like digging in the dirt. It's so much fun when you're young to dig in the dirt and get messy. Dig. D, D, dig. D, D, dirt. There was two. Let's do another one. Do you like dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. What's that first sound in dinosaur? D, d, dinosaur. Dinosaur begins with the letter D. Oh, this is a great list that we're coming up with. Doll. It's a little Raggedy Ann doll. What's the first sound in doll? D, d, doll. My, my sister, my baby sister, she loves little Raggedy Ann dolls. It was her favorite when she was little. Do you have a favorite doll at home? I bet you do. Or maybe your sister has a favorite doll. Or your cousin. Doll. D, d, doll. That could be one that you you go find in a minute. It's a doll. Let's go over the last few. Whoa! Did you know there were so many different ways that you can have dice? There's different kinds of dice. There's dice with four sides. There's dice with six sides. There's dice with ten sides and eight sides and twenty sides. There's so many different kinds of dice. What's the first sound in dice? D, D, dice. You can roll dice for all sorts of games. Dice, D, D, dice. It begins with the letter D. Dragon, that looks cool. It's a dragon. What's the first sound in dragon? D, D, dragon, D, D. Dragon. Good job, my friends. Have you ever wanted to play on a drum set before? It's a lot. It's really exciting. I played on a drum set. I'm not very good, but it's a lot of fun to practice and just play. Drums can be very loud. What's the first sound in drum? D, D, drum. When I'm writing the word drum, it would have a D in the, in the beginning. Because you hear that? D, D, drum. That's the first sound you hear. The first sound. Dolphins. Like the Miami Dolphins. You can see a lot of dolphins in the, in the Gulf Coast. There's lots of dolphins down near Florida. I've seen dolphins at Ocean City too. Not very often, but they can be there. What's the first sound in dolphins? D, D, dolphins. We'd write a D. If we were trying to spell the word dolphin, we would write a D first. Deer. Have you seen any deer near your house? If you live farther away from the city, you might be able to see some deer. D, D, deer. D, D, deer. There's lots of deer where I live. I live in the county. But if you live in the city, you might not see any because there's too much traffic for deer to live. There's no forest for them to live. There's no place for them to have their home. But if you go near a park, I bet you might see some deer. The first sound in deer is d, d deer. And last one, oh no, <laughs> she got all dirty. D, d, dirty. Did she fall in the mud and get all dirty? D, d, dirty. That looks like a lot of fun. Do you get dirty sometimes? Oh, I bet your mommy doesn't like when you get dirty. It can be a little bit messy, right? It can be really messy. Well, that's our list our letter D word list that we could think of. Can you go find me two things in your house that start with the letter D that have the D, D sound in the beginning? All right, I'll wait here. Go ahead and find those two things. Great job, my friend. Did you find two things that started with the letter D? D, D. Let me see, let me see. Great job, great job, my friends. I wish we could gather up a basket and put all those things that you found in so I could show you. You did a great job. I bet you can find anything 
that has the letter D in it. And I bet you can hear the D sound anywhere you go all week long. That's going to be really helpful for your learning. I'm very proud of you. Let's keep going. Let's build our letter Ds. You want to build our letter Ds? Me too. You're going to need a long stick. <clears throat> One long line. And then you need a C. But do you need to turn it towards the line to make the uppercase D? That's the two shapes you need. A line and a, and a big C. I need the same thing for the lowercase d, don't I? So I put that long line up because it's a very tall lowercase letter. And then look, my C. My C has to face the uppercase d so they're talking. You see them? They're facing each other. This has boots and this one has boots. They're facing each other like they're talking. So you need two straight lines one big C, one little C. You know how to write C's. You're so good at writing C's. Now you get to write a D, an uppercase D and a lowercase D using the shapes that we already know. That's so wonderful, my friends. Let's write it together. You ready to write it together? You want to get a piece of paper and write it with me? Let's go ahead and do that. I want you to take your paper and something to write with. I want you to practice writing your uppercase D and your lowercase D with me. When I start, I'm going to start at the skyline. And I'm going to go all the way down to the graph line, then I'll stop. And if yours doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Practice makes perfect. You go all the way down to the grass, and then we stop. This isn't a basement letter. We don't need it in the dirt or in the basement, do we? Keep it on that last line, that little grass line. And then we got to make that curve that like kind of like a C. So we go from the skyline and we go all the way down to the grass line and stop. You see how I put those two shapes together to make our uppercase D? Great job, my friends. Let's try the lowercase D. So we need the line straight down to be a little further over so we can fit that C where we need it, don't, don't we? All the way from the skyline all the way to the grass line, then we stop. Now let's make a our seat right here. Wow. I did it. Did you do that too? Uppercase D and a lowercase D and a uppercase D and a lowercase D. We did it. Rewrote our letter of the week. Every day I want you to write uppercase D's and lowercase D's. You can even write letter D words like dog. D-O-G, or dig, D-I-G. Come up with words that you can write that start with a d, d sound. That will get you ready for kindergarten or first grade. The more you write, the better you'll, you'll be at writing. Practice makes perfect, my friends. Let's read our book together, and then we can practice. We can practice using other things to make our uppercase D and our lowercase D. Let's go over the parts of the book. What's this part of the book? Do you know what this is? It's the front of the book. What part is this? The back of the book, you got it. And this is the side of the spine. What are the big letters on the front called? What are the big letters on the front called? The big letters on the front are called the title. The big letters on the front are called the title. And what does the author do? The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi-ho, the deario, the author writes the words. It's illustrated by somebody. Who does, who's the illustrator? What does the illustrator do? Let me hear you. The illustrator draws the pictures, the illustrator draws the pictures. Hi-ho, the deario, the illustrator draws the pictures. Let's read the title. Detective Dog and the Disappearing Donuts. Would you want your donuts to disappear? <gasps> Do you think someone's eating them? Who's taking the donuts? Let's find out. It's very exciting. Listen for those d, -d sounds, because you're gonna hear them a lot. Dave's Diner, Detective Dog, went to Dave's Diner every day for dinner. 
I heard a lot of D's in that. Did you catch them? For dessert, Detective Dog always ordered a donut. Detective Dog loved donuts. One day after dinner, Detective Dog said to Dave, Today is my birthday. I think I will have two donuts for dessert to celebrate. On the double, Detective, said Dave. That means he's, he's going to hurry up and get it real fast for him. On the double. Oh, dear, cried Dave. The donuts have disappeared. Doggone it. <laughs> it's missing. Doggone it, said Detective Dog. I have some detecting to do. Suddenly, Detective Dog noticed something near the door. <gasps> Powdered sugar. It's a clue. If I follow this trail of donut dust, I bet I'll find the thief, she said. You think she's going to find the thief? Let's find out. Detective Dog followed the trail of donut dust downtown, all the way downtown. She followed it past Drake's Drug Store and the department store. The trail led right into Debbie's Deli. The donut napper must be in here, said Detective Dog. Detective Dog turned the doorknob. She stepped into the deli. It was completely dark. Suddenly, the light flashed on. Surprise, yelled Detective Dog's friends. Hot diggity dog, said the detective. It's a birthday party. Happy birthday, Detective Dog. It was a surprise. Nobody stole the donuts at all. I don't see any donuts at the party. Where are the donuts? He wanted one. He wanted two. Two donuts were wanted by the detective dog. Dave told detective dog that he only pretended the donuts had disappeared. Dave made the trail of donut dust to lead the detective to the party. Detective Dog was delighted with the party. There were dazzling decorations and dandy gifts. And best of all, there were dozens and dozens of delicious donuts. <laughs> the end. How many things can you find that begin with the letter D? Let's see what you can find. Do you find some? Let's look together. I found a dollar. I found a dinosaur, a doll, a dime, a detective, a donut. Ooh. Wow, there's lots of things on here. Dishes. Good job, my friends. Let's do our D cheer together. D is for dog and donut too. D is for dolphin in the ocean blue. D is for doll, doctor and door. D is for duck and dinosaur. Hooray for D, big and small. The most dazzling, delightful letter of all. The end. So let's think about what happened. Detective Dog, it was his birthday, well, her birthday. And when she went to Dave's Diner, she wanted two donuts and the donuts were gone. Were they really gone? No. But there was a trail of powdered sugar that led to a secret party. So when Detective Dog got there, they yelled, surprise! Happy birthday, Detective Dog. They pretended that all of the donuts had been stolen so that they could lure, they could lead Detective Dog all the way to her surprise birthday party. What an exciting book. Did you like that book? I did too. Now that we've gone over D a lot, we've listened to the sound. D -d. You looked for it and found it in our book. It's time to write it some more and say it some more. Now I've done it with paper. Do you want to try some other special way to write a, a letter D? Okay, here we go. Hey, you 
my friends, we just learned the letter D and we get to practice writing it in our gel Ziploc bag. If you got yours, take it out. If you wanna do shaving cream, you can get that too. Ask your family what you're allowed to do today to practice writing these letters. Remember, the D's like to talk together. So we have to make sure they're pointing towards each other so they can talk, don't they? The B's like to walk together and the D's like to talk together. D's, talk, 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 talk. Oh, and the B's like to walk together. The D's like to talk together. Remember? <laughs> Get my wand. Let's practice the uppercase D. Spread it out a little. Down. Big hump all the way to the bottom. Down. Big hump all the way to the bottom. Down. Big hump all the way to the bottom. Do you see it? That muscle memory? Down. Go all the way around. One big hump. Down and around. And look, it's facing the right way. The D's like to walk together. See? The D is going to point towards its little lowercase letter. This is uppercase D. An uppercase D says D, 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 dog, D, D, dog, D. Smush, smush. Erase the low, the uppercase D. So we're going to make Lowercase d, so make a line. And remember, it's going to face the other way. See? They're facing each other. The d faced this way so they could talk. And this lowercase d faces his, his uppercase daddy almost, right? See? A lowercase d. D, d. A lowercase d. D, d. Did you make yours too? Great job. Let's make it again. Let's squish it out. Erase it and squish it out. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Let's do an uppercase D. Down and around. Down and around. Down and around. That's an uppercase D. And look, is it facing the right way? It sure is. The uppercase D always faces its lowercase D. Let's make our lowercase d. And remember, it's going to go this way. The circle goes on the left side. Down. And around. Down. And around. See, there's a circle at the bottom and a line that goes up. And a circle. And a up. And a circle. We're going to make that a little clearer for you. It's facing the right way, you see? They like to talk together. D dog d. D dog d. D dog d. They like to talk together. Those D's do, don't they? Great job, my friends. Practice writing your uppercase D's and your lowercase D's all week long. I can't wait to see what you did. Great job, my friends. Hey, my friends. Welcome back. Did you have fun? I hope you didn't get too messy. Let's review what we're going over. We're learning the letters uppercase D and lowercase D. We're going to say them, find them, and trace them or write them all on our own. If you find them and say them, that's you identifying the letter correctly. Kindergartners need to know all their letters and sounds, don't they? It's going to help them read and write better. You're going to read and write better by practicing. Let's do the letter keyword sound together. Ready? D dog d. Your turn. D dog d. Keep going. Again. D dog d. D dog d. Great, great job, my friends. We have an uppercase D and a lowercase D and an uppercase D and a lowercase D and an uppercase D and a lowercase D. The D's like to talk together. You see them talking? They're facing each other so they can talk. The daddy and maybe the son 
are facing each other and talking. Or maybe the daddy and the daughter. Oh, they both had the d, d sounds. Oh, I like that analogy better. The dad and the daughter are talking. D, d, dad, d, d, daughter. Oh, you've done a great job today. I bet you can use everything you've learned in this lesson all week long. Writing your letters, finding them, listening to anybody who says a, a d, d sound. Identify that sound and go, I, I heard you say the d, d sound in that word. And maybe they could tell you if it's in the beginning, the middle, or the end. Beginning, middle, or end. Beginning, middle, or end. That's exciting. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll have a new letter for you next week. I'll see you later. Bye, my friends. Hey, my friends. Thanks for being a part of my lesson today. If you like this lesson, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. That's the like button, okay? It's sure to make me smile. Hey, parents. You want to get your child ready for school? You don't want them to fall behind in school? Hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And in the description, you can also find my Facebook page. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about these videos, I'm more than happy to answer any of them. So hit the Facebook page and connect with me. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these videos. And I'm always going to try to make them better and better. Also, you can hit the bell at the bottom so you don't miss any of the new videos. If you want to help donate to my cause, if you want to continue to see more free videos on YouTube for tons of families who need this, make sure you click the Patreon page and check out how you can donate and how you can help. Anything makes a difference. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for donating to this cause. It's allowing us to create even higher quality videos, more free videos for families like you who need this resource at home. We are utilizing kindergarten skill maps along with Common Core standards to make these lessons. And you are helping make a difference in children's lives all around the US. Thank you for everything that you've been doing.